Hello friends, in the last videos we have seen how to apply Newton's law on a horizontal surface. Now in this video we will see how to apply Newton's second law on a inclined surface. So the objective of this session is to calculate the acceleration down a hill. So let us discuss this problem. So this problem says a toboggan loaded with a student's total weight W slides down a snow covered slope. So this is a snow covered slope and this is the toboggan this is filled with the a student and this toboggan is sliding down this incline. Now this is a snow covered slope so we can assume the friction on this surface is very small. In other words, we can make an assumption that the friction coefficient of this inclined plane is zero. Question further says, the hill slopes at a constant angle alpha. So the angle of inclination of this hill is given and this is alpha. And the toboggan is so well waxed that there is virtually no friction. So there is some waxing also in on this toboggan. So one thing is this is a, a snow surface and this is waxed. So we can assume there is no friction that is acting between this toboggan and this inclined surface. That is a smooth sliding. Now question says what is its acceleration? So we have to calculate acceleration of this toboggan. So let us try to solve this problem. So first, what are the things that is given? So we have been given weight of toboggan that is W and we have been given angle of inclination alpha. So what is our target variable? So target variable, target variable in this case that is unknown that we have to find is the acceleration of the toboggan A value. Now, how will you solve this problem? So if you remember, we can use Newton's second law that is force is equals to mass into acceleration to find acceleration. So to apply Newton's second law, we have to first draw the free body diagram. So flow chart for solving this problem will be first draw the free body diagram. And once you have the free body diagram, you can apply Newton's second law that is you can write equation so Newton's second law so using Newton's second law you can write equation and then finally you have to solve this equation and get the unknown and in this case target variable or unknown is acceleration of this toboggan so let us try to draw the free body diagram first so this is the incline plane basically if you see Initially you have inclined plane something like this and I am showing something like this that is I have kept left thing on the right side it doesn't matter because finally the shape is same. Now this toboggan I can show this as a point mass is here. So what are the forces that is acting? One force is the bait of toboggan that is acting in the downward direction. Another force that this incline is trying to push this toboggan in the perpendicular direction let's call this force as normal reaction n any other force since this surface is frictionless that is mu is equals to zero there is no friction along the incline so to write newton's second law we have to choose an axis so if you remember in the previous chapter also we said if we have an inclined plane we take the axis along the inclined plane that is my x axis and perpendicular to the inclined plane in this case this is my y axis so this is the axis now we have to take the component of the forces along the x and y axis so normal reaction is already along the y axis but the bit this is not along the x-axis and the y-axis. So we have to take the component of bait along the x-axis and y-axis. 
and this angle is given this angle is alpha so this angle will also be equal to alpha so if i take component of w in this direction this will be w cos alpha similarly in this direction you will have another component that is w sin alpha now i can remove this force because i have already considered its factor or its effect and that's why we have made a bigly sign so that we have to remember ourselves that this force will not come into the picture when we are going to write the equation of motion now let us write equation of motion so we can first write equation of motion along the x axis that is x direction so what are the forces that is acting along the x direction we have w sin alpha that is acting negative x direction so we can write minus w sin alpha so force is equals to mass into acceleration mass is m and acceleration is ax basically we can calculate mass that is nothing but weight divided by gravity so weight is given in this problem so mass is equals to weight divided by z so let us plug this so we can write minus w sin alpha is equals to mass times acceleration and mass we know that is nothing but w by z so we can plug here and ax so from here i can get so this w cancels so i can write ax is equals to minus g sin alpha so this tau gown has a acceleration in this direction that is the negative x direction and the magnitude is g sin alpha so we can say acceleration of tobogon this is equals to g sin alpha and this is down the incline this is not up the incline so this shows the direction that is down the incline so tobogon is t o b o double g a n so this is the spelling of tobogan so this is the acceleration of tobogan now you see for calculation of this acceleration that is x is equals to g sin alpha we don't need the second equation we can write the second equation that is perpendicular to the x axis if you write perpendicular equation the force is n force is equals to mass into acceleration but there is no acceleration any other force that is acting so one force is normal reaction and another force is w cos alpha and that is negative by direction so we can write minus w sin alpha basically w cos alpha so this is w cos alpha and along this direction there is no acceleration so this is equals to mass into acceleration acceleration is zero so from here i can write n is equals to w cos alpha so second equation gives you how to calculate the normal reaction that is what is the magnitude of the normal reaction first equation gives you the acceleration value second equation gives you the magnitude of normal reaction let us see some special cases of ax so we calculated ax is equals to g sin alpha so this is the acceleration value now let us consider some special cases so this is my incline and this is angle alpha and this is acceleration that is g sin alpha now the first situation we can have that is alpha is equals to 0 degree in this case what will be the acceleration if you put alpha is equals to 0 sin is equals to sin 0 is equals to 0 so x is equals to 0 which makes sense because alpha is equals to 0 in that case this plane will come below and finally it will become a horizontal plane so if you have a horizontal plane and this tobogon is kept on a horizontal plane it will not have any acceleration so this makes sense that is in this case x is equals to 0 
The second special case we can have that is alpha is equals to 90 degree. So if you plug alpha is equals to 90 degree in this equation, x is equals to g sine 90 and sine 90 degree is nothing but 1. So this is equals to z. So acceleration is equals to z. Now when we will have alpha is equals to 90 degree, this means we have to open up this inclined plane. So finally, this will be something like this. So this is your inclined plane and in this case alpha is equals to 90 degree and tobogon is somewhere here. So this tobogon is going to basically fall freely. So there will be free fall and that's why acceleration is z. In this case you will have a free fall and the acceleration in this case is equals to gravity and that is equals to z. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy, please share with your friends and like and subscribe. You can also comment in the section and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.